Hello, nice to see you again. It's Graham Martin. I'm the recruitment guy from AutoJobs.com. Welcome to another five minute interview. Up and down the country, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of offices like this, estate agents. If you're like me, you probably think it's really easy to sell a house. Today, we're going to find out exactly what it takes to become a successful estate agent. We're going to meet James Luton, who's the director of Lane's Property Agents in Hartford. Let's go. So, James, James Luton, director with Lane's Property Agency in Hartford. Thank you for your time. I know you're really, really busy, so thanks for giving us a couple of minutes. Fine. We're going to try and get this in five minutes or under. So, let's kick off. What do you do for all that money as an estate agent? What's your job really about? What's it about? Right, well, it's a completely varied day. So, the staff will generally get in at half past eight. I'm usually here an hour or so before that. Um, uh, for a sales negotiator, it's going to be out viewing properties with, with buyers. It's going to be about seeing sellers and trying to get their property on our books, talking to solicitors, mortgage advisors, delivering leaflets, uh, collecting them for sale board. It could be you know, anything, any one of those. So, so are you out a lot? Day. Yeah, I'd say we're probably out more than half the day. Really? To be honest with you, That's out away from the desk. Yeah. And what do you think is the best bit for you about being an estate agent? best bit of the job is handing the keys over to a client who's just succeeded in buying a property through us. I think that's, uh, you can see the emotion in their face. They're clearly very happy about it, yeah. usually. usually. Yeah. And uh, that's definitely the best bit of the job. And what's the opposite? What's the flip side? There's always two sides to every call. Absolutely, yes. Well, the flip side would be if a sale falls through, and unfortunately, put about 20% of sales won't go through for whatever reason. Yep. And often, the estate agent has to deal with the emotional fallout from uh, that, that. So you've got to pick up the phone and give the bad news, have you? Yeah, or in the office, in you know, face-to-face meetings, oh, really? they're sometimes pretty difficult to deal with yeah. so you've got to be able to deal with the good and the bad yeah so when you think about the kind of people that you recruit as mm. estate agents what what skill sets are you looking for well they've got to be energetic enthusiastic they've got to have a desire to do the job and succeed as well yep. um, a bit of local knowledge always helps but there's no necessary qualifications that you need or prior experience to be honest with you sometimes I prefer without so you can train people and develop them yourself? Right? Absolutely, yeah. And is that typical of estate agents, do you think, in, in the UK in general? I think, generally speaking, yes. Yeah, yep. I would say it's typical. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what about the hours? I get the feeling there's a lot of variety. Is it, is it a nine-to-five job? No, no, this job certainly wouldn't suit those looking for a nine-to-five um, working week. No, we, we work six days a week here. Six days? Um, as I say, an early start, 8.30 is generally, yep. generally what we're getting at. And uh, we open until seven at least. And, and we'll go out after that. If people need to view a property after seven, that's what we'll do. Get so, the sales so really, you've got to be prepared to commit to it. Probably. Absolutely, and uh, Saturday as well. I think yeah. some businesses open on Sundays. They as do, well. yeah, some do. Um, wow. And uh, if that's the case, you might get a day off during the week. But not necessarily if you're not hitting target. No, I guess. exactly. Yes, yeah. It's, it's a, a very competitive industry. business, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's nine estate agents in Hartford, so of course you're competing all the time for yep. sellers' business, and you want to also compete for buyers to want to buy through you as well. And so do you get on with the other stations, or is it like football? Uh, well, clubs? we don't necessarily socialise down the pub with yeah. you know, over a beer at the end of the day, and um, no, I tend to try and uh, disassociate myself away yeah. from that and just keep it purely business to business. So what about the money then? Tell me about mm. the the money that you can earn as a trainee, somebody coming from scratch, never done it before. Yep good attitude, wants to learn, what are they going to earn with They're you? probably going to start on a basic of between twelve and £15,000 on average, yep. um, but uh, obviously they can then go on and start selling and earning some commission as well, um, but uh, that's the average starting salary, twelve to fifteen. So how much would you earn in terms of your overall salary as a percentage, do you think? Um, well, I'd say by the time you're about a year or so down the line and you've got some pipeline of sales going through, yep. you're probably going to look at between 60 to 70% maximum really? of your income per month will be commission based. Wow. For a successful. And agent. what could you earn then in, in your first year, or maybe in, the, in year two, once you're yeah. maybe not a superstar, but you're doing okay? Yeah, I mean, a, a, an average to half decent estate agent should probably be banking around 25 to 30,000 uh, pounds at the end of year two, I'd right. suggest. And where can it go on to? How can you develop and, and, and money wise and what's promotion like? Well, prospects are brilliant. I mean, I'm a fairly good example. I started off as a trainee negotiator about 12 or 13 years ago. Yeah. And I'm now the director of Lanes Hartford. Um, so, yeah, come all the way through the ranks and um, manage to succeed. And, and what do you look for when you're looking to recruit? Are there mm. a couple of uh, skill sets or, or attitude aspects that you're, that you're looking for? Well, as I said before, enthusiasm, energy, um, uh, effective organisational skills as well is absolutely crucial um, in, in, my, in my view. Um, but other than that, as I said, no necessary experience or skill sets, but they've got to, they've got to want to do the job. You know, I know it sounds obvious, but the mm. hours are long, but the, the plus sides are also there to be had. Um, do you need to be able to drive? Yes, yeah, for me that's essential. You know, in Hartford, some of our appointments can be seven or eight miles away, so right. that's an essential part. But in central London, could somebody maybe get by if they, if they jump on the I've tube? I've got friends of mine who work in central London, they get the training every day, right. and they're estate agents, right. so they don't need okay. their license there. So if somebody's interested in becoming an estate agent, there's some websites or associations or, or magazines yeah. they can pick up? I'd probably start with the National Association of Estate Agents website. There's an excellent section of careers advice there, yep. um, or go to a decent um, recruitment consultant, for example. Like mine. <laughs> Good plug, thank you for that. 
that. So. And, and, and if you were thinking about one particular aspect, if you're interviewing somebody, they come to you for the first time, mm. what are you looking for? What's going to inspire you to say, you know what, I'm going to take him or her? Probably their energy. If I could pick one thing, it would be their energy. How enthusiastic are they about the job? And uh, as a secondary um, uh, bit of information from that, you know, what sort of research have they done in terms of what do they know about our company? Great, That's good stuff. That's a good thing to look at. Well, look, we've nailed it in just under five minutes. Thank you very much. James Lillian from Lane's Property Agents, thank, thank you very much. Cheers. So, I found that really interesting. We now know exactly what it takes to become this successful estate agent. Hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did. Graham Martin, the recruitment guy, saying goodbye. <laughs>